I couldn't be happier. Like, I never saw this coming. A central Iowa man makes a miraculous recovery after suffering a severe brain injury. Tyler Osmondson was in a very serious car accident about three years ago. Now he wants to spread a message, a message of hope to others who are going through similar tough times. Kim St. Ange has the inspiring story. Tyler Osmondson first came through these doors here at On With Life in April of 2012 with a severe brain injury. Today, Three years after that tragic accident, he's back, spreading a message of hope and inspiration to others. My memory is starting to come back, but I don't remember even the Christmas the year before. March 21st, 2012 is one date that's burned into Tyler Osmondson's memory. I thought my life was over. A garbage truck slammed into Tyler's van. He was in a coma for 11 weeks and spent another six months doing rehabilitation at On With Life in Ankeny. So each should be on a corner spot. Learning life's basics over again. We started out with the walking just so I could get back to it. Mm -hmm. Three years after his tragic accident, the now 22 year old is not only driving and living on his own, they taught me how to cook. He's also serving as an inspiration for others at the place that helped him get back on his feet. But if it wasn't for the clinical counselors, I don't think I would even be, be here right now. There's something that feels impossible, just work for it and you can get there. Paying weekly visits with his buddy Chance. Speak. I, as a professional, can give them all the advice in the world, but it doesn't mean the same thing as having somebody who's been through it give them that information. I realized that just helping people, it really it put me in a better place had me start seeing things I could do even more. Tyler is a true testament that life can teach you miraculous lessons, even in the most unexpected ways. If my accident could bring some life or some light to anyone, it might have been worth it. In Ankeny, Kim Sainanj, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And as for Tyler's future plans, well, he's graduating from DMAC in May. It says he hopes to find a job.